Impact Wrestling presents Under Siege, live May 26th on Impact Plus and Fight. John and Gia, thank you very much. An easy night for the two of you, not so much for our competitors in this X Division 60 minute Iron Man Championship match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a 60-minute Iron Man match for the X Division Championship. The wrestler with the most falls at the end of the match will be declared the winner, introducing first the challenger. He's accompanied to the ring by Falaba from Los Angeles, California, TJP. TJP is a former X Division champion. When the bell rings, the individual who scores the most falls, via pinball, submission, disqualification, will be declared the winner, and the X Division champion cannot wait to call this one. With my broadcast colleague, D'Lo Brown. D'Lo will let everybody know how he's feeling in just a second. His opponent accompanied to the ring by Petey Williams from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is the defending X Division champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Dilo, what's going through the minds of these competitors here tonight? Right now, they are thinking total strategy. They are thinking, how do I approach this? Do I make the first move? Do I lay back and wait? What do I do? Because I believe the person who gains the first fall will have the side advantage going in. Alexander, we have talked about facing this young man, and you better bring a lunch pail. It is going to be a long, hard, physical battle in the ring with the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. Scott DeMora thought so much of these two competitors that last week he told them, you're going to be involved in the first ever BTI 60-minute as everybody looks at their clocks right now. Yes, folks, we know this match is going to spill into Impact Wrestling at the top of the 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time hour. 60 minutes on the clock. Here we go. You will see the 60-minute clock in the screen right there behind the competitors throughout this match periodically. The clock will continue to go through our commercial breaks. And this match available in its entirety thanks to social and digital media. D'Lo, at what point do the nerves start to go away? That first lockup. Like, once you engage your partner, your, your opponent for the first time, that's when it goes away. Now you get back to us at strategy. Now you get back to how do I chip away at him? And man, these two, anytime they get together, it's a classic. I cannot believe we're gonna sit here for 60 minutes and watch this beauty unfold. TJP and Josh Alexander for the X Division Championship of the World here in Impact Wrestling. And as we've gone to commercial break on BTI, the action continues here. The clock continues to tick down. It is a true 60 minutes and a test of strength between these two men, between Josh Alexander and TJP. When it comes to the wrestling side of things, D'Lo, many people right on paper would say that Alexander has the advantage. Is that true? I, I wouldn't say that Josh Alexander has the advantage because- Shoulders down because he is so disciplined in, in the wrestling aspect where TJ offsets it with his joint manipulation and his submission work. So both men are, are pretty much even in many, many ways. Josh Alexander trying to use his strength and get TJP shoulders down into the canvas. TJP, monkey flip, floats over. Oh, nice. Squeeze it, squeeze it. And that's a position that TJP might not want to be in Come on, get those shoulders And it's funny because he's in the in the guard position there of Josh Alexander, but both men fighting free. Yeah, it was definitely a stalemate there. TJ did not want to be there. Just it might have looked like a disadvantage for Josh Alexander being on his back, but because Josh had his legs wrapped around him, around TJP, it negated the whole thing. So both men back to a vertical base again. Most falls, pinfalls, submissions, disqualifications. All normal ways to pick up victories in wrestling matches, they apply here. But it's at the end of 60 minutes, whoever has the most falls will be 
victorious and the X Division oh, champion. Sure. Yeah, I mean, this is like the, this is like a soccer game. It could be one nothing, or it could be ten to ten to two. You don't know. It is. Now we just sit back and wait to see this unfold. Ah, you truly have to be a special kind of an athlete to know you're going to go into the ring for one full hour. And we'll find out who the better man is here. Great idea to have this match on BTI. And it will culminate on Impact Wrestling. If we've done the math right, Dilo, it should be about eight to nine minutes into Impact that we'll be getting into our 60th minute, and then we should have an, an X Division champion. Ref, watch the shoulders. You know, and the, whoever comes out of this on top, it's going to be a feather in their cap. First of all, to go 60 minutes. Second of all, to go against the guy who you know is your equal in the ring. Um, this is shoulders down. And right there, even again, no, now the pace elevates up. And you have to, as much as maybe TJP would want to keep things going at an elevated pace, he knows he's got 60 minutes to do this. He can't burn quickly. Yeah, this is a marathon, not a sprint. You're not built to try to win this match in four or five minutes. You've got to pace yourself. And there you go, Josh Alexander getting control. And you see smartly, he's putting that foot on top of TJ's other foot to stop any kind of reversals. When we get back on BTI on Access TV, I want to ask you about Josh Alexander, the ankle lock, and if he can get it in once, what's going to prevent him from getting it in twice, three times, four times, five times, and forcing TJP to tap out multiple times in this match? And, and that would be something, and that would be a strategy or try nice by TJ. And look, oh, good. We're going to a bow and arrow. Alexander's got to watch his shoulders. They're off the canvas here, and he's got TJP locked up. TJ's, putting a lot TJ's of pressure. Gotta, TJ's got to alleviate the pressure off his ankles and try to reverse this to, to flip over. There it is. There he does. And Alexander knew it was there and was able to escape. And another stalemate between these two. And you can see right now they're just feeling each other out. This is about just seeing what your opponent's got. Balancing act, perhaps, between these two. Have you seen anything from either one that's given an advantage yet? No, right now they're playing everything close to the vest. And who can blame them? You don't want to give up any kind of secrets and, and create a disadvantage for yourself. TJP trying to get wrist control here of Josh Alexander. The 60-minute Iron Man match, and now Alexander able to reverse looking for a throw. TJP comes around the other side. This is the 60-minute Iron Man match for the X Division Championship between champion Josh Alexander and the challenger TJP. Starting here on BTI, continues on impact on Access TV. And it is zero to zero thus far. Fala out here with TJP, Petey Williams with Josh Alexander, Josh Matthews, and D'Lo Brown on the call. D'Lo, thus far it's been Perfectly even, yes? Yeah, it's a game of human chess. It is just move and then counter and just feeling each other out. And those who watch the break saw just pure flat out wrestling and hold and counter hold. So right now we are flat even. Let's see the clock on the screen in the background. Both athletes know that it will pop up periodically. So that gives them an idea, D'Lo, of where they're at. It's like a golfer checking the leaderboard as he walks off the hole. You want to know where you're at, or do you not want to know how much time's left? Yeah, but you don't want to spend too much time clock watching, because that could distract you from what's going on in the ring. And if you get distracted, that can, oh, it takes three seconds. Especially maybe if you're down one nothing, right? And then all of a sudden you're looking up at the clock and you're thinking, I'm down, I've got to get back in this. So you've got to, I, I, I guess what you're saying is stay in the fight. you got to stay in the fight and stay in the moment. If you allow yourself to drift away and look or start thinking about what i got to do, that's when you slip up and make a mistake. Follow out trying to cheer on his buddy TJP. Again, folks, this match coming from Last week, Scott DeBoer finding these guys and saying, you guys, you guys can fight all night. Makes this first ever BTI 60-minute Iron Man match. And TJ, look at this. These two can put on a clinic, can't they? Just hold and count on. It is beautiful to watch. Both men looking for that all-important first fall. D'Lo talked about it earlier. 
how important it is to get out one nothing, and then how does your strategy change if you do get out one nothing? Do you start playing defense? Do you stick and move? Do you get away? See, for me, you play a little defense, but a guy like Josh Alexander, for example, he's going to keep pressing. A guy like TJP is going to keep pressing, so I, even if someone gets out to a, a one nothing advantage, I see them trying to make it 2 nothing. I don't see them laying in wait just trying to hold on for a one nothing win. You know, it's interesting, I use a lot of sports analogies, but it's like what they say about the, the dime defense. All it does is do is prevent you from winning. Yes. You don't want to go into that dime prevent. You want to keep pressing and you want to keep going. You, you, you dance with the girl you brought to the, to, you know, to the table. You, get, you stay there when you got you there. And the minute you try to get, change your game plan 90% of the way through, you end up losing most of the time. Josh Alexander has been known to make people submit with an ankle lock. And right now he's working on the arm, the shoulder, the wrist, the fingers, the hand of TJP. See, this is a different strategy for Josh Alexander. He's going up high. He usually tries to work on the ankle. And here he's on the arm, weakening the left arm to TJP. Perhaps trying to systematically dissect. Did you see the way that Alexander was driving his knuckles into the bicep of TJP? There's nothing that Alexander misses. No, and, and that's, once again, you're not trying to beat anybody with that. He's trying to inflict a little more damage and get in their mind and try to get them off their game plan. There's nothing that TJP misses either, oh, no. He is such a, a joy to watch, and that's a strange thing to say in wrestling, but he's so silky smooth inside the ring. Everything that TJP does is just, it's amazing to me. It really is. I mean, this is pure wrestling what we're watching here and what we're going to watch, and, and these two are damn near the best in the world at it. I mean, you look at everything going on with these two right now, where we sit here in Impact Wrestling, as TJ counters with a beautiful Hurricane Rana. Look at that, right there. You gotta always watch TJ, because he can counter anything at any time. Alexander goes for the outside. He, I am not, he may not be safe out there. You can tell these two know each other extremely well. Josh Alexander, he's, that. now you don't want to get distracted with oh. Fala, because that allows TJP to do that. And TJ's going to capitalize on like he did right there. You can't take your eyes off him, not in a match like this. Yes, we take one more look, T. Look at this, TJ with that inside-to-out drop kick there. And now we can say advantage one side right now, because TJ is definitely has the advantage right now. TJP slingshots back into the ring. Let's see if he goes for a cover with 50 minutes to go. He does, and a kick out. You heard referee Brian Hebner counting when both men were on the outside. Now, a double count out is moot because it makes it, it's a one, it's one fall for each competitor, but if you do get a count out victory, that counts towards your fall. Yeah, if you get a count out, it's, it's one nothing. I mean, by hook or by crook, it's one nothing. So 50 minutes remaining in this match. That puts us 44 minutes or so away from the start of Impact Wrestling on Access TV and 44 nights away from Slammiversary. We're getting closer to Against All Odds, but we're going to do our best, folks, to keep our focus and our attention on this Iron Man match and give it the spotlight that it deserves. Back suplex by TJP. See, right there... Uh oh that thought cover and a kick out. Right, right there, I saw a change of strategy from, from TJ. Normally, he goes for those three amigos, the three su suplexes in a row, but there he changed it and hit just a regular suplex in the middle of the, bell, the, belly, the side suplex there. So um, I'm wondering if he's just trying to get Josh off his game plan a little bit. And you think about how physical this match has been in the early going. I mean, again, as you break it up into quarters, if you, if you want to do that, 60 minutes, they're still in the first quarter. Yeah, this is early on. I mean, we got, we got, oh, oh dragon screw, look at that. You see the way TJ's knee just twerked, twerked around and, ooh. All to set up wraps the ankle lock later for Josh Alexander. Oh, Rapid fire boots from TJP. He spins free. Oh, that's like a leg DDT. DDT. Yeah, very interesting move. And explain that to me, D'Lo, as he takes the bottom of the foot and he drives it into the canvas. Does that send shockwaves up the entire leg? Up the ankle, it charges the Achilles, it charges the knee. So it's a way of weakening the leg. And now TJP shoulders down of Josh Alexander as we still look for our first fall here in this matchup for the X Division Championship. And Alexander's got to keep his shoulders off the mat while TJP is trying to break the ankle. Oh! Uh, Josh, ooh, look at that knee bar here. Josh, have you ever called a 60-minute Ironman match before? 
30-minute knockouts Iron Man match, the longest match I've called. So no, to answer your question, is TJ Gershaw covering a kick? I, obviously, I've never done it before, so I, I'm giddy as a as, as a school kid right now. You know, my free lunch. I'm happy as hell. Yeah, it is a absolute joy to provide the soundtrack to this match for the X Division Championship. Certainly, our pleasure, and we thank you for joining us here. And TJP, up and oh, driven back down. What? what? It was like a, sh a, a short pile driver there. You see Josh is, is noticing that TJ's trying to counter out, and he just, just drove his head right in the mat. Typically, you can handstand out yes. of, of a hold like this. That's what TJ was thinking, and Alexander, for the second time, drives his head like a hammer into a nail what a into smart, the canvas. What a smart counter. I don't know if TJ will look to handstand out again. No, he doesn't. He spins, and he will run. <laughs> Find a way out. If he hooks this to back bridge leg lock now, like I said, this is five points of pressure, but he can't get the neck. Josh Alexander's fighting him off. Oh, smart. Alexander just snatched the head, and look at this. Both men back to their feet. TJ spins, looking for another hold here, an abdominal stretch. Alexander reverses. And look at this double up. Divine, no, 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 no. TJ spun his way into it, quickly realized what was going on. Shoulders down, oh and a goodness. kick out. Back and forth they go, oh, and now oh. cross arm breaker. Alexander comes over, shoulders, look at the strength. TJ got out of that, and almost had Alexander down. And oh, ankle lock. lock, ankle, there it is, ankle lock. TJP may be forced to tap out. He's trying to get to the bottom rope. Alexander, German oh, Suplex. Wow. Rolling through with the X Division title on the line in an Iron Man match. Look at the strength of Josh Alexander. Oh, wow. D'Lo, that one had torque, shoulders down, and a kick out. Oh, my God, look at this. My goodness. TJ absorbed those three suplexes and comes right back up into an arm bar. Don't let him get behind your back. Go! Ah. Ah. TJP had Josh Alexander, now another cross arm breaker. Was that former, or did he have a Kimura on him, D-Lo? It looked like a Kimura. I, I, I couldn't really see if he had the underhook on it. Oh. But Josh gets right back to the ankle. This time the opposite ankle. He's working on both of them. That is an ankle lock, and TJP makes it to the bottom rope, and I believe there's a cut on the forehead of Josh Alexander, so that's something to pay attention to. Yeah, I didn't see when that happened. It just must have happened in, 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 the, in the, the muddle there when they were just close quartered. We're trying to get a shot of the forehead of Josh Alexander to see if that's where the blood is trickling from. It looks like it is, it looks, and just a big chop. Yeah, it looks right over top of his eye, is it? I can't really tell. Back up and back down. Curtis here, the back suplex. There's a cover by Josh Alexander. Shoulders down and a kick out by TJP. And I think Josh Alexander just noticed the blood himself. But you know, one thing you can tell about Josh Alexander, a little blood ain't gonna stop this man. He just keeps walking right into the fire. I don't know if a broken bone would stop. There's a competitor in Alexander who broke his neck once. Right, had his ear ripped off, literally. And, and came back to wrestle, put his headgear on and came back to wrestle. And I, I'm not sure, D'Lo, but I believe that his nose is bleeding. So I don't know if the blood on the forehead is courtesy from the nose, but again, there's there's blood pouring out of the face of, of Josh Alexander. TJP hooks the ropes. Alexander spins him, and oh, he kicks out the ankle. Creative. Come on. Yeah, it looks like there's some swelling around the nose, and yeah, you're right, there is blood coming from the nose. Come on, TJ. It's not going to affect Josh Alexander all that much, but these shots to the inside of the leg, the knee, the ankle, that will affect TJP in this match. Yeah, that's soft tissue in there, and that just weakens the stability of your knee. You know, with TJ, TJ using a lot of joint manipulation, because, you know, using his legs, this is very smart game plan. I was about to say, Falaba cheering on TJP, trying to do whatever he can to keep his buddy and his friend in this match. And TJ was trying to create a little space, but Josh Alexander was having nothing to do with that. And I mean, oh, right off the bat there, nice job. Very competitive 
matchup here. Iron Man match, 60 minutes. It's zero to zero right now as Alexander again stops on the ankle. Dilo, at what point does he look for the ankle lock, hold it in, lock it in, and try to get that first fall? Well, you want to make sure it's softened up enough. You don't want to go to it too soon. That expose your game plan. So you want to put as much damage on it. I would think somewhere around the 25, 30 minute mark, I would start really going after that ankle. And oh! Alexander comes running in. Now he goes for another cover and a kick out. The covers are coming more rapidly at this point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I believe the covers are coming more rapidly. That's a way of feeling your opponent out, see what they're, you know, how much energy they've spent, see what they got going on. And right now, Josh Alexander putting his weight, putting his pressure on the back of TJP. Josh, I don't know if you've noticed it, but the intensity is kind of ratcheted up a little bit. It's, it's getting a little more, you know, a little more violent out there, a little more, you hold on a little tighter. Yeah, certainly seeing that develop in these athletes, and that's only going to develop and becoming more and more as we get going here in this 60-minute Iron Man match. Now TJP set for the ride. Goes low and a big drop. Nice drop kid. Explosive offense from TJP. And again, creating separation between himself and Josh on, Alexander. Come on. Both of these men look like they've been in a battle and they've got a long way to go. Fala trying to get something going for TJP. It is a 60-minute Iron Man match for the X Division Championship between TJP and Josh Alexander. Starting here on BTI, continuing on impact. The score, 0-0, zero to zero, and TJP is looking to face wash Josh Alexander. There you go! Now, this move is meant to just bother you and piss you off. But, oh, look at that. Alexander did not let TJ get that final boot in. TJP looking for more offense out of the corner. Looking for a cover. Shoulders down. TJ reverses. Shoulders down. Oh, nice. Now back they go. And Josh got Alexander in. first cover. He got the first one. Whoa. That's Josh Alexander's not one nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the fall, Josh Alexander. And you saw the clock on the screen, less than 40 minutes to go. Right now, what's going to happen, folks, is both men are going to have 30 seconds. The match time continues. It's like a soccer match, if you will. The match time continues, but they do have 30 seconds. TJ will get to a neutral corner. They'll get a chance to get to their feet. TJ knows he's down one nothing. The champion is up one nothing, and D'Lo with this point in the match with less than 40 minutes, how does it change the mindset for both competitors versus the champion? So right now, Josh Alexander has is, is got the, the early advantage, so he knows he's in the driver's seat. So he doesn't have to keep pressing. Yes, he wants to continue to go. He wants to go out there and get make it 2 nothing, but he doesn't have to press so hard. For TJ, everything is in his hands right now. He's got to even this up to have a chance because you can clearly easily lose one nothing. 16. You hear the referee counting. He's going to go all the way to 30, folks. They have 30 seconds between falls. Both individuals were told this before the match started. Josh knows it. He's down on that bottom buckle, getting his wind back, getting his oxygen back. It doesn't look like he's breathing hard, does it? He's not. It's not anything at all. He's just ready to go. And this is meant to make sure there's no disadvantage after a fall. You can't just steamroll somebody and get multiple falls. That's why this 30 second break is there. And now here we go. The match continuing with Josh Alexander, the champion of one to nothing. We'll see what Josh does here to change up, if at all, and what the challenger TJP does, knowing he's down one fall to nothing. Well, if I were TJ, I know I try to up the tempo. I try to get Josh Alexander backpedaling a little bit. So TJ, his objective is to even things up one to one. And then D'Lo, the question becomes, if Alexander gets another one, if he goes up 2 nothing, wow. how hard will it be for TJP to secure two pins, two falls? I mean, think, yeah, think about it. That's hard. I mean, being down one is one thing. Being down 2-0, that's, it, it's impossible to come back because it would take three falls for you to win this match. Yeah, you think about tying and you think about 
you know, over time, sudden death style again. What was also explained to the athletes before this match, if it comes to that. TJ floats over, shoulders down, and Alexander rolls free. There's a nice cravat there, TJ's got locked in. You know, when you think about this, and we've been talking about strategy throughout this match, how much does it change for Alexander? He doesn't have to go for pins. He doesn't have to go for submissions. He should stay in control, but he doesn't have to try to get any victory. Well, he's not going 100%, okay? I can tell you that he's not going to go full on board like he's it's tied or he's down. Um, but I can tell you this, he's going to continue to keep going forward, just not as aggressively. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Wow. Come on. Well, maybe he feels that, you know, he's in this match with TJP. Maybe he feels one's not enough. You know, you get some insurance runs if you can. That I would think one is not enough. I would not think, I would not try to win one nothing. I would try to win, you know, two, three nothing. I'm trying to get as many falls as I can to make it more difficult for, your, for, for TJ to come back on. I mean, especially with how much time's left in this one. We're not even 30 minutes in. And TJP is still down. Josh Alexander gives him a bit of a reprieve as TJP is not showing anybody his his nose or his face. Have to wonder what's going on there. Oh! Backbreaker. Cover by Alexander. They're going to go up 2 0. And a kick out by TJP. And Alexander going right back to the back of TJP. Now, this is both well in the hands of Josh Alexander. Every, every minute you can keep TJ on the defense is a minute you're close to winning this thing. You said you never called an Ironman match. What's the longest match you ever wrestled in? I wrestled 30 minutes in, in Japan, ironically, with Kojima. Oh, but you're happy that you're doing this now instead. Yeah, it's a lot better on the back. <laughs> First ever BTI 60-minute Ironman match. TJP is down on the floor. Alexander will back off, and he can get a fall here. If referee Brian Hebner gets to 10, it's 2 nothing. No, look at that. Josh Alexander did not want to get a fall that way. He goes out to the floor. Look at him. He's not He's not settling on getting a count out. Get it out there. Let's go. Get it in the ring. Let's go. If TJP comes back and wins this one, Josh Alexander may look at this moment in time and say, I should have taken that second fall. Yeah. I mean, to me, look, a win's a win, a fall's a fall. I don't care how you get it. Count out, pin, submission, those are all part of the rules. Use them. And maybe Alexander is thinking that as well. How much damage can I do on the outside? I'll jump back in with eight or nine seconds. And there's eight. So he is back in. And he breaks the count. Yeah, he's not looking to get a fall out there. He's looking to inflict damage, but not get a, a maybe in his mind, a cheap fall. Interesting. Well, this is the kind of competitor that we've understood and learned. Is Josh bringing him back into the ring? Josh Alexander is carrying TJP back inside the ring. That speaks volumes for how Josh oh, Alexander this. wants to be known. What is it? This is an octopus holding the ropes. Not legal, can't get you a fall, but can do some serious, serious damage. And it can switch momentum. Oh. Oh. Josh JP firing away. Josh Alexander lost the headgear. The headgear of Josh Alexander, that's been a signature of his throughout his career, and he's... What the hell is... What the... And now Alexander's got TJP. Oh! Oh, no. oh my God! Goodness! What the hell? Stretching every muscle and fiber inside the body of TJP. I have been around wrestling a long time. I have never, ever seen that before. That is a painful predicament to be in. TJ has his hand clutched on his lower back, but that had to be hurting in every part of the body of TJP. I mean, that's beyond five points of pressure. That's pressure everywhere. You got the ropes going across your, your neck, your low back, and you're in the Iron Maid. I mean, just ridiculous. And you can hear Petey Williams on the outside say, this is your pace, not his. And when you're up one to nothing, you set the pace. Yeah, and that's, there it is. Josh Alexander isn't laying back and waiting and playing defense. He's continuing to attack. And the best defense is a good offense. Josh Alexander is the X Division champion. He is in control right now of TJP. Can he keep it going in this 60-minute Ironman match? 
Oh, big shot there by TJP. And TJP looking for an opening, looking for a spot. D'Lo, if he can get back in here, he can tie this thing up and we're all, we'll be all square. You know, I'm looking at the clock and, and, and there's 32 something on the clock. I can't quite see it, but you know, TJ's got to start, start. TJ's got to start thinking. I got to get a fall. Go. I got to get a fall in the next five or ten minutes to have a chance at winning this thing. TJP oh. superplex off the top, and that fall may be coming momentarily with 32 minutes to go. Oh, no. Alexander! Whoa! No! 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 no. Both men oh. spill to the floor. Come on. Oh my goodness. TJ. So first the superplex. Then it looked like TJP was getting something going. Oh Alexander it reversed it, and Not both TJ. men crash and burn to the floor. Yeah, it looks like Josh Alexander <laughs> lost his balance a little bit, stepped back too close to the ropes, hey, sir, and then hurt? just both of them, just oh. momentum took them right to the floor. Trying to see where on, each man Bounce. is favoring. Point. It looks like the shoulder of Alexander, Falaba telling TJ, get in the ring, get the, get the fall. He's Seven. saying point, but he means fall hey, to get this back, thing one back. to one. Well, it's almost like a point. This Go is a ahead. soccer sure. match. Uh, no, absolutely it is. Oh. oh, shot right to the kidneys and ribs. And now both men on the apron, trying to get back into this match. <laughs> And man, and the I, urgency like, lies with the challenger, though, doesn't it? it definitely, right now, the urgency. When the champ's up, the champ has all the advantages, and now he's up one nothing. Yes, all the urgency lays right at the feet of TJP. And Alexander is going to yeah. this time he takes him straight down. TJ Spine went right across the edge of of, of the ring there. That is just brutal. That's where wood meets steel. Wow. Come on, you gotta get in the ring. Let's go, it's not. Where this ring comes together, and that was painful to watch. And we say it all the time, that's the hardest part of the ring, because that's where the most support is in this ring, is around the edging. And TJ Spine just went flat up against it. Challenger back inside the ring. Here comes the champion slithering back. In, and TJP goes all the way to the other side. Yeah, creating space. And, oh! Josh Alexander cut that space down in a second. Space was limited, to say the least. Yeah. And you can see right there, TJ's hurting. I mean, Josh Alexander sacrificed himself there. That's how much this means. Josh Alexander, we've seen him Throw that cross body to the outside. Never seen him do it 30 minutes into an Iron Man match, being up one to nothing. But nonetheless, that's Alexander only knows one way. Can I say we're 30 minutes in, and you know when something is good when time seems to just fly right by? I can't believe it's There's already been. There's a cover. There's a cover. And a kick out. I can't believe it's already been 30 minutes. I, I want more. I want more. I got 30 more minutes. Let's go. Let's go, well, for TJ. you and I, it's great. <laughs> yeah. for, the com for the competitors Let's inside go, the ring, it probably Let's feels go, like TJ. an eternity. Right. Yeah, it has been 30 minutes. We are halfway through. It is one to nothing. Didn't mean to interrupt you there, no, no. Just getting everybody reset. No, no, you got to keep that score up there because, you know, everybody needs to know where we are uh, and what's going on and what, yeah. what's at stake right here. TJP is down one nothing, and, and he's hurting. He's on defense right now. Hurting. TJ trying to fire back, and every shot of Alexander just seems like it means so much more. And at no point has Josh Alexander throttled back at all. He is just buzzsawing through TJP right now, trying to exert no, with the exception, yeah, With the exception of not going for rapid pins like he was earlier, you would think that, that Alexander's down 3-0. Yeah, I mean, he's working like, yes, he's, he's wrestling like he is down in this match. That's a good point. Ooh, they lost control of Alex, each other there. Yep, Alexander hangs on to the ropes. Here comes TJP, and TJP like a magician spinning free. And TJP trying to get anything going. Look at this, folks. And now it's Josh Alexander in this Iron Man match. Goes for the cover to go up 2-0 in a kick out. It's 1-0 Josh Alexander. It's been 30 plus minutes thus far for the X Division Championship here on BTI. Don't forget, folks, the final minutes.
of this match will take place on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. But right now, the champion is in the driver's seat. Just that little sequence that happened moments ago lets you know how well these two men know each other. It was move, counter move, and then Josh Alexander gets that power bomb onto the knee. And my goodness, Josh is really taking the TJ. TJP off the other oh, side, cross body, shoulders down, and a kick out. TJ looked a little low on the body of Alexander there. Yeah, he didn't get quite the leverage he needed for a good pin, but now... Has it here, has it here? And Alexander just barely got that shoulder off. Good call by referee Brian Hebner. Now TJ's got to get a little higher. Uh -huh. He's got to get a little higher, put that pressure on him. Changes his game plan and now looking for a submission hold here. It's an Indian death lock. I haven't seen this move in a long time. And you can see TJP using his one free leg, his foot, and putting the pressure on the thigh, the, the knee of Alexander, trying everything he can do to get more pressure on this hole. And Alexander, now he's got to watch his shoulders. And Dealer, you just get the feeling that TJP is so close to tying this thing up one to one. Yeah. You can feel, but you can also feel the, you know, TJ is, is starting to push a little more. Look at this. Look at him just Look slapping at the, just slapping the hell out of each other. And Alexander, he's got a hold of TJP. There's the ankle lock. And TJP grabs the bottom rope. He will be forced to break the hold of Alexander. It was about 40 minutes in that Josh Alexander secured the first pinfall. It was pretty quick, Dealer. They were going back and forth, and Alexander was able to get TJP down for three quick seconds. Yeah, definitely a counter. Counter was a reversal to a reversal, and, and really like a flash pin there. And ever since then, TJ's been on the back foot. He's been on the defense and not gotten out of the starting blocks, really. TJP pinned Josh Alexander seven nights ago in a tag team match on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. It ultimately has led us here. And this... Stalled vertical suplex. He's about 14 seconds. Yeah, I mean, right I, I'm now. looking at my. I just started looking at my watching. Oh, what vertical strength and what core strength from from Josh Alexander? TJ's been upside down for almost 20, 20, 25 seconds now. What my goodness! This is the point where maybe his feet and legs are starting to fall asleep. They've been up there, all the blood rushing down. Yes, and this is when you're gonna get your opponent just busy with all that extra blood in, in up in his head area. Mike. Look at Alexander shaking some feeling back into his own legs. He can keep him up, keep him up here for the next 20, 23 minutes and win. Yeah, I mean, if he can just keep him here, I don't know if he can, but... And now oh. takes him down. And that's like a roller coaster. You, you sit on the edge, waiting to go down the hill, waiting, 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 and all of a sudden, there it is. There's a cover. Let's see if we can get two nothing here in TJP. <laughs> kicks out. You heard Falama saying, shake your legs when you're up there. That's trying to knock the balance of Alexander off. TJP couldn't do anything up there. And to Demo's point, you're up there, upside down. All the blood's rushing to your head. It's starting to throb. You can probably barely see, barely breathe, and then you're dropped violently on your back. Yeah, and that's just, that's just torture on top of torture. And now, now Josh Alexander's got that knee square in the back and he's just trying to wear TJ down. And that's exactly what Josh Alexander has done to TJP. He's worn him down, he's taken the, the excitement of TJP out of this match. The, the sudden offense, the flash offense of TJP has been taken away. Yeah, this is definitely Josh Alexander's pace. This is where he wants to be and right now, uh, this match is, is, is falling deeply on the side of, of Josh oh. Alexander. Alexander has TJP so well scouted. Typically in a position like they were just in, TJ would have countered into some sort of a donkey kick. Alexander oh. broke the hold and shot him into the buckle. Yeah. This is very special here. And this, like, this is, you can't get, this is hard to get out of here. There's only one, one or two ways to get out of this. Oh, wait. Over pin. Into a backslide pin position and a kick out. Oh. Flipped him over, shoulders down. And now back and forth. This is how fall number one came, folks. Pay close attention. Here comes Josh Alexander. TJP, shoulders down. Back and forth they go. Yeah, you see TJ. TJ, even this up. 
Yeah, you see TJ not trying to get underneath the uh, the legs there, trying to get more shoulder leverage. Down. Got him, got him. Oh, the shoulder was up. The shoulder was, the shoulder was up. He's trying to do everything he can. If you can step TJP. over, this is a sharpshooter here. With the hands locked up, there is nowhere for Josh Alexander to go. He can't wiggle free. TJ is going to change position. TJ's at the back right here. He's just trying to inflict multiple damage on place. And you know, he's not staying in anything too long, not allowing uh, Josh Alexander to figure out how to counter. TJP has Alexander again. Is Alexander going to verbally tap out? Would he have tapped out? Would he have said, I can't go any longer? Break the hold, get this thing evened up, and get that 30 second break. There's that rope break there. It was one of the only ways to get out of that for, for Josh Alexander. And Alexander is holding on to that bottom rope like he's holding on to his X Division Championship tonight. So TJ trying to get trying to get some wind back in him, trying to trying to, to re, you know, just get everything back on track to try to regroup a little bit. DJP trying to lock up Alexander. Spins out. Face lock. German suplex. Hey, did you see how limp TJ's body just went? He's taking a lot of punishment in, you know, in the 30 plus minutes of this match. It has been absolutely brutal. And really, you have to go back to that 40 minutes left, Mark. So 20 minutes in where Josh Alexander secured the first fall. The match has changed since then for both athletes. Yeah, I mean, it is it has totally been one-sided toward Josh Alexander. And TJ, a sense of desperation has got to set in soon. I mean, we are well past 30 minute mark, coming up on the 40 minute mark, and he's not even gotten close to getting a three count yet. And Alexander still in control, TJP. Can he get anything going here? This flurry lead to momentum. A knife edge shot just cutting the chest TJP. TJ comes back up and now a sense of urgency. Is that urgency growing inside like fire burning inside of TJP? Here he comes and oh, a counter by the champion quells everything TJP had going. What a stop by Josh Alexander to TJP in this Iron Man match for the X Division Championship. Everything that TJ just did, D'Lo, was all for now. Every time TJ gets a little momentum going, gets a little groove going, tries to string something together, Josh Alexander just cuts it right down, cuts him down at the knees, and goes right back on offense. TJ has been on the back foot ever since the first fall. And now Alexander going after the ankle of TJP, perhaps looking with 20 minutes to go, less than 20 minutes to go, for one more fall, that insurance fall, to go up 2 nothing and basically secure the X Division Championship. Yeah, there's, if another fall happens, there's no way Josh Alexander can lose this because TJP has shown no, nothing that would say he could score, you know, one fall, let alone two or three. So... Another fall right now for, for Josh ah. Alexander would essentially end this match. Yeah. Come on, TJ. TJP on, TJ. knows that. Yeah. And is fighting with everything he has. I think Josh Alexander just glanced up at the screen. The clock is up there right now, so he knows that he's sub 20 minutes and that's to the, go in this thing. That's the first time I've noticed either competitor looking up at the clock. So now is, is Josh Alexander clock watching a little bit? Does that take him out of, of his, of his game plan? Keep your I, I, I was with you earlier in the match with about 30 to 40 minutes to go, but do you think with this much time left that that is the case, or he's thinking, okay, I got to do A, B, and C with this amount of time left, and, and I'll be just fine? You know, and, and only time will tell. I know I would be looking at it going, I'm up one nothing, I'm up one nil, I've got to get a second fall. I've got to get a second in, fall. Insiguri there by TJP. Trying to create some separation, trying to get anything going here with just about 18 minutes to go. Alexander slips off the back, and Alexander sends TJP into the post yet again, and the challenger still gets one or two things going, and then he's just stopped by the champion. I would be so frustrated right now if I were TJP because the stop, start, stop, start. He can never get anything rolling. Look at this single leg crab on the top. Oh, Absolutely incredible. Alexander. 
He'll hold on till four and a half, then he'll release. He's not gonna risk losing a fall would it be smart, disqualification. Would it be smart wow. strategy to keep him locked up there, give up the fall, but inflict so much damage you could capitalize on it after the 30 second break? That's a, that's that'd be a tough move to do because you're giving up a fall and getting it tied up 1 1. And Alexander, oh. just he just strength. over muscle. Him. Yeah, core yeah. strength there. Cover. And a kick out by TJP, and now the back of TJ. And you see how Josh Alexander is leaning on TJ, on. pushing his forward. That is cutting off TJ's wind because you're bending at the waist. It's making hard to breathe. And TJ is just literally out of his game. Yeah, it's really been Josh Alexander dictating pace, dictating speed, and then violent offense. And really, then TJ gets something going. You think he's going to get it going, and then Josh shuts him down. That's been the story of the last 40 to 45 minutes. And, and this has been all Josh Alexander. It's been his game, his, his pace, his rhythm, everything. Um, TJ's had flashes, but Josh has really, really, really controlled this match. It's one of those... One more. Matches, Dilo, that you have to really see to appreciate, to watch, to appreciate, because if this thing does end one nothing, you think as a fan, oh, it was close. But it really wasn't close. It was Josh Alexander controlling everything, and he just happened to secure one fall, and that was it. Well, look at this. If, if Josh can hook this, hit the chin here. This is this crossface chicken wing, but no. TJP did a great job there of going right to the buckle, then going low and creating separation. So now, again, the window is slightly open for the challenger to get back into this thing. And I, I see, you know, Fala is, is you, know, what, you know, whispering words of encouragement there. I think Fala's getting feels of desperation right now because he can see the clock. He knows what's going on. He knows the score. How can you not feel a sense of urgency, a sense of desperation right now if you're the challenger, TJP, looking to become the X Division champion here against Josh Alexander. Submission hold by TJP, trying to get the arms unlocked, and he does so, and this is just a brutal battle back and forth. With the X Division Championship on the line, TJP is trying to get this thing evened up one to one against the champion, Josh Alexander. Shoulders down and a kick out. It is one nothing, Alexander. We've taken our final break in BTI. The next thing that will happen, folks, we will come up on Impact Wrestling on Access TV for the final minutes of this match. Will it be one nothing? Will it be one one? What else is going to happen with 15 total minutes? to go. What I know right now what has to happen is TJ's got to elevate his game just like that. He has got to pick up the pace and change the momentum of this match because he is desperately needing a fall ASAP. The clock will pop up periodically on the screen. These two have been going at it for 45 minutes. It has been a brutal back and forth affair with hold after hold. Move after move, attack after attack. And you can see now TJ. Look, you can see TJ starting to try to step the game up, trying to press the action. TJP looking to slingshot to the outside, and he caught Josh Alexander. They haven't spent a lot of time on the outside, and when they have, it's been Alexander in control. But I'll go back to TJ was hurt laying on the floor, and Josh Alexander broke the count on several occasions. I wonder if that's going to come back to hurt Josh Alexander in the end. Both men on the outside here. TJP looking for a DDT on the floor. Oh, no, Josh counters it. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Josh Alexander just suplexed TJP's body into the side of the ring, and TJP crumpled like a house of cards. Now, right now, if you're Josh Alexander, you stay down there and let you guys get both counted out. Now it's 2-1, it's even, but you've killed off essentially three or four minutes of the clock. Plus the 30 seconds in between, it's a great thought process. Now he's at nine as the referee. Alexander gets back in, that breaks the double count out count of the official. And TJP, he looks so spent, deal. He looks like he's been wrestling for an hour. Looks like he's been wrestling for a day. I mean, look at him. Alexander shakes free and now stares down his challenger. Follow the bow out here. Petey Williams out here. Look at that. Look, TJ just desperately holding on to Josh Alexander's ankle. TJP 
He is down, crumbled, trying to climb up the body of Alexander. Alexander can sit here all night. He knows he's up one nothing. The clock is now in Josh Alexander's favor. We are under 15 minutes. This is all Alexander's time right now. And every second here on the floor is a second less TJ has to win. And those seconds quickly turn into minutes. And before you know it, you're back in the locker room being told you didn't win. <laughs> Alexander turns his back on the challenger and sits and waits and now comes back out. Do you know what Josh Alexander said? He's upending this. Oh boy, oh and no. this may end it. This may end it. If he hits this on the floor, this is over. Oh, and Petey Williams stopped Josh. Oh, oh spit on his face. From delivering the death bill. And, and what is Alexander? He's, he's, he's. You can't do that up there. No, come on, man. And even Petey Williams is pleading with, and what's this? Chris Saban, Trey McGowan. Leading, like, don't do this, man. This guy's got a family. Don't do this. TJ, oh, Petey, look at this. Oh, he just flattened him. TJ P flattens Josh Alexander, the, the colleagues of Josh Alexander. Chris Sabin, Trey Miguel, Petey Williams, who's, who's been out here with Josh since minute number one, telling him, don't do this. You want to be proud of how you win this match. You do that by ending it in the ring. And now TJ making the slow, long crawl back to the ring. If he can get in the ring and get a count out help, that's just as good as a, oh, that's, it'll tie it up, as good as a fall. Josh Alexander smelled blood in the water and he started to go too far over the edge. And now, and there's Eddie Edwards and Alicia. They're told there was a sellout at the monitor and they want to get closer. Jordan Grace, Rachel Ellering. Referees at four. And now five. TJ can tie this thing up one to one at seven. Well, that's a long way to go. Now eight. Well, that's a long way to go. Nine. And oh, he it's one nothing. Josh Alexander as he breaks the count. What well, would have tied this thing up 1-1? One, one. And did you notice TJP sunk down in the corner like, oh my goodness, what do I gotta do? He thought he was gonna get that count, the 10 count there. We were being told throughout this match that there was a sellout at the monitors, yeah. but the, the roster wanted to get a closer look. TJP, here we go. Mamba. Mamba splash. If you tie this thing up. This is it, this is the equalizer right here if you can hit this. TJ is so spent, he can't even get his other foot up. Here we go! Oh, it took too long! Yeah, yeah, Josh Alexander saw that, you know, got his wits back about him, but look at the blood streaming from the face of Josh Alexander. Myers and Sam Beal out here as the minutes start to get us closer to the top of the hour and impact wrestling, folks, but this is still BTI. Josh Alexander is still the X Division champion. He was sent off the ropes, courtesy of TJP, trying to get back into this, make it 1-1. One, one. Oh, Tria Woe and Josh Alexander's locked in. Look, how, can, how can TJ capitalize on this? Chris Bay has now made his way to ringside. Alexander is locked up in the tree of woe. The challenger knows that the time is not his friend. The clock is not his friend. He's got to get this thing tied up. TJ can't even capitalize on it. He's so spent. Oh! Look at TJ P! TJ say, come on, walking weapon! They are just teeing off on each other. And TJP's got Josh Alexander. Took his, took his headgear off. Ladies and gentlemen, the score is one to nothing in favor of the champion, Josh Alexander, in this 60 minute Iron Man matchup. Oh, look, oh, 
is Impact Wrestling on Access TV. It's the final eight minutes of the 60-minute Iron Man match between Chubby and Josh Alexander and the challenger TJP. Alexander's up one fall oh. nothing, but maybe not for long, maybe not for long. Shoulders down and a kick out and two. And right now you can see TJ's up in the elevation, up in the, t the intensity here. Oh. He's got to get this pin quickly. TJP cover looking to make it 1-1 one, one, and another kick out. The stars of Impact Wrestling have made their way around the ring to watch the final minutes of this 60-minute Iron Man match for the coveted X Division Championship. Use the hashtag Impact on Access TV. We hope you've been enjoying this match throughout BTI. You can feel the energy in the Impact Zone. And right now, TJ being down 1-0, he's gonna pull out all the stops. He's gotta, he's gotta tie this thing up quickly. TJP creates some separation, goes off the ropes, and a collision oh. in the center of the ring. Both men down. Both men down, favors Josh Alexander, because TJ is just as hurt as Josh is right now. But why does it favor Alexander? Because he's up one to nothing. And the clock is ticking, the clock doesn't stop. Six and a half minutes to go. Josh Alexander does not need a fall. He's up one to nothing. We saw a different side, a more violent side of Josh Alexander. We're gonna end the career of TJP earlier. His colleagues pleaded with him, don't do it. And the match continues. TJ's looking inside, saw him glass the clock. He knows there's six minutes left. He's got to do something quickly. Double underhook. TJ lands on his feet. TJ spins Alexander down. Shoulders on the canvas, and we're all tied. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> and throughout this Iron Man match, this has been the story, folks. It's been Alexander in control. It's been a flurry from TJ and then shut down by the champion. And you see the Impact roster is out here cheering both men on. They've watched 50 plus minutes of them just going at it and going at it. And now, where's TJ going? What's he got in mind? TJP already went for the Mamba Splash once in this match, came up empty. Josh Alexander scored the only fall about 20 minutes in with 40 minutes to go when they were exchanging pinfalls. And now with you can see, folks, five minutes oh. on the clock. TJP is in his best position yet to secure a fall. The most sustained flurry of offense we've seen at TJP for the entire match is happening right now, and he needs it now because we're under under five minutes to go. And he just looked at the clock. He just looked TJP. at the clock. Yes, he did. And now he's going to look to oh, drive his boot to the face of Josh Alexander, a bloodied and bruised Alexander. Look at Josh, Josh is grabbing the ankle off. Oh my, he went from being boot washed to holding on to the ankle. And if he can cinch this in, TJ, his fingertips away. TJ trying to fight free what's left of those kicks, in anything. That oh. nation kick, that cover, if he gets the cover, we're tied. Signature move by TJP, the detonation kick gets us off. No. no, it does not. No, it does not. What is TJ going to be thinking right now? What do I got to do to end this match? To at least get how, it tied. How are we not all square after that? Oh, look, TJ, look, he's going for Mamba. He's going up. He's got nothing left in his legs. No, no he, he's, on, he's on rubber. His legs are rubber right now. Under four minutes to go, TJP, one last Mamba splash. Got it! Now, now we will be even at no! one and another kick out. Josh Alexander is digging down deep right there. Another kick out, look at Alexander. He's holding the ankle of TJP. He's knocked out, I think, yeah, he just let it go, but he had the ankle of TJP. Josh Alexander is, once again, he is hurting bad. TJ is really starting to feel the momentum. He's building and building at the right time. But does he have enough time to get this fall to even it up? He's got three minutes left. Three minutes for the rest of his career. Technician, no, 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 
Oh! Ankle lock! The detonation kick turned into an ankle lock, and if Josh Alexander at this point goes up two to nothing, it's over. Well, hell, he's even gotta go two to nothing. He's just gotta sit down and just hit, sit, let time run out. Two minutes, 40 seconds to go. That ankle lock is in deep. Alexander hangs on, shoulders down to nothing, and TJP pops free. And TJP's got a hold. He's got the leg right by. And Josh is, you see Josh, look at the clock. Josh Alexander has to hang on for two minutes and 15 seconds, or get to the ropes and get a break, or tap out, and we'll be all square. The last thing that Josh Alexander wants to do right now, he can't give up a fall. He can't. Oh, look at TJ locking it in. TJP has a figure four on the legs. Alexander maybe tapping out. He's got the ankle locked up, does TJP? How much can you take walking weapon? Oh, look, look. He's going for the ankle lock right there. He's got wow. the ankle lock. How the hell did he do that? No idea. TJP probably felt like he was absolutely safe in an offensive driver's position. What's the clock? 90 seconds. We've got 90 seconds left on the clock. And Seguri ducked, and Alexander can go even deeper with this ankle lock. TJP is now. He's a fingertip away from that bottom row. He couldn't wrap his hand around it. Alexander's driving him back towards the center of the ring. If, if Josh sits down on this, he's just got to wait the clock out now. Well, he's got the arm trapped. Arm is trapped. This is it. Now deal with this is what you said. That's it this right is there. what you said. He can run the clock out right now. TJP may tap out, but it may be a moot point. With the clock just bleeding down. We are under a minute. 45 seconds to go. Oh my goodness. TJ, this match is running out of TJP. And Josh it's gonna be it. over. Absolutely thrilling. 30 seconds, TJP is so far away right now from that bottom row. And Josh is scooting him closer to the, further away from him, closer to the center of the ring. This is it. If he taps, it may not matter. TJ's Give done. The the clock is running. 10, Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. TJP's up, TJP's up, shoulders down, TJP's got it, it's time, it's time, it's time. The winner of the fall, TJP. Wow. TJP with the Hail Mary with four seconds left. Shocked faces ringside. We're going to sudden death. Overtime. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, the 60 minutes has expired with the score tied one to one. We will now go into sudden death where the first wrestler to gain a fall will be the winner and X Division champion. Dilo, we mentioned it briefly early on in this match because honestly, I didn't think it was going to come into play. Sudden death, no clock. No There's clock. No more time. No clock. That's not an issue. How is it he gonna, just wrestled for a damn hour. And, and how does it affect the psyche of Josh Alexander getting that fall at 20 minutes, carrying the lead for 40, and letting it be tied up literally in the dying seconds of this match? Do you think as the athletes were counting down D'Lo, five, four, Alexander sort of let up, realizing this is over? He, he had to, I mean, he had to because it allowed TJP to, 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 to get that leverage to stand up and lock back in that, I don't even know what that was. This is amazing. Referee Brian Hubbard will count to 30. There was a fall, folks. It took us to sudden death. He's at 25 now. Five more seconds, and then these guys are going to be let out of their cages. And this sudden death will officially begin. There's 30 seconds, and here we go. Who has what it takes? Look. Who can dig down deep Look. and become X Division champion? Look at these two battered and broken warriors going at it. 60 now, 60 plus minutes, and still throwing haymakers at each other. Both men on wobbly legs. 
They've wrestled for 60 minutes. And they're square up. Knuckle up. My goodness, look at this going. And Josh right now, continuing the pace he had before, taking it right to TJP. You want to know what the X Division Championship means to the stars of Impact Wrestling? You want to question what the X Division is? Just look at these two men. That's what it means. And look, Big shot there. And look around the ring. The entire Impact locker room is out here. That's what it means to this whole company. Whoop, TJ Pinn oh. misses twice. Is that a standing Phoenix splash? It, it looked like a standing Sentai Phoenix splash something. Oh! Look at this, Josh Alexander, what's he, he's, with the momentum, he's going up the second, up to the top. Alexander in the lights! Oh, oh, so connects! Here it is! Cover. Josh Alexander retained oh. the TJP kicked out! TJP kicked out! Alexander! Looking for more offense! Oh. happening what I've watched for the last 60 plus minutes all I gotta say is this is wrestling this is impact hands locked he got it, oh, he got it. it. that's it that's it and Josh Alexander retains his title ladies and gentlemen the winner of the Iron Man match and still X Division champion Josh Alexander! 60 plus minutes. The respect of the Impact roster, the respect of everyone watching around the world. Here on Impact tonight, it started on BTI. It concludes on Impact Wrestling. D'Lo Josh Alexander retains the championship, and TJP proves what kind of he is. You know, that's a match where someone had to win, but neither lost. That was a great, great exhibition of what we do in this company. And right there, the exhibition champion after 60 plus minutes of hard fought wrestling. That was a clinic. Champion after 60 plus minutes of hard fought wrestling. That was a clinic. Absolutely. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. We can all breathe. Feels like we haven't done that in 60 plus minutes. Look, and a standing ovation for these two men. These two warriors. These two athletes. Look at Josh Alexander. Bad as it is, but unwavering. It's going to take somebody on their best night. Show sure, mutual respect. Alexander, he went to the dark side towards the end of this match. He was talked off the ledge. But in the end, they come together, they embrace, and Josh Alexander given the belt, the X Division Championship title by TJP, a special moment here tonight, Gila. That's the ultimate sign of respect right there, putting the belt around the waist of the champion. Wow, what competitors, what champions. What a night that's just getting started here in Impact Wrestling. And we're gonna imagine what's going through the mind of Josh Alexander. He came out here tonight, he wanted Bully Ray. We heard the offer that he made to Bully Ray that Bully Ray declined. Now. He's a man of his word. That's who Josh Alexander has always been. It's an open challenge for the Impact World title. How in the world does Alexander pivot from Bully Ray now to Bailey? Well, I mean, Josh Alexander is one of the best professional wrestlers on the planet for a reason. It is that ability to pivot. And yes, Josh Alexander is a man of his word. He's an honorable competitor. Nobody can ever take that away from him. But I have to question if this is a smart idea considering the mental state of the champion. We know, I mean, it's only been a few weeks since Overdrive, that horrible, horrible event involving his own family, his own wife. And, and where is the head of Josh Alexander? It's not here for a good old throwdown wrestling match, I don't think. It's still focused on Bully Ray. Collision there. 
Josh Alexander telling Bailey to bring it. And these two meeting each other. You can see Alexander favoring the left shoulder. That was something that was targeted at overdrive in the Impact World title match between Frankie Kazarian and Josh Alexander. Granted, that was three weeks ago, but it was said even by Bully Ray that Alexander was taking time away for the, quote, trauma that he endured, the emotional trauma, obviously, but physically, there might be some things lingering for Alexander. Oh, absolutely no doubt that there is. And to take on not just any competitor either, Speedmo Mike Bailey, who went on one of the most intense runs as X Division champion this past year, having some of the best matches in Impact Wrestling all year long. This is gonna be no small hill for the walking weapon to climb in defending his championship. Oh, Alexander gonna enjoy the size and power advantage here for Bailey. So quick, so nimble, a very gifted striker as well. Oh, but a knee right to the midsection, and you can see the emotion that is being harbored right now in Josh Alexander. He is fighting thinking about his family. He's thinking about Bully Ray every time he lays into Mike Bailey. Which, look, hatred, anger is a hell of a motivator. And it can turn that intensity up, but it is also very distracting. And that distracted is not something you want to be when you're in the ring with someone like Speedball Mike Bailey. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Alexander trying to focus. Put out an open challenge for the Impact World Championship. That was answered by Speedball. Look, Tom, I, I don't want to dig up ancient history here, but need I, you know, tell you, or remind you, should I say, oh. about earlier this year, the emotional state of Josh Alexander with Moose and everything yes. involved in that situation, letting his emotions get the better of him. Will we see history repeat itself here tonight in the Impact Zone? Right, look at all these kicks here from Bailey, and down goes Alexander to the outside of the ring. Title can only change hands via pinfall or submission in the Whoa. ring. Bailey over the top and drops the world champion. The Impact World Title is on the line. Bailey versus an emotional Josh Alexander. This match continues. I want to thank you for joining us here for our continued coverage of this matchup. Matt Raywalt, this is pretty surprising that we're even seeing the Impact World Championship defended here on Access TV, thus our continuing coverage here on Impact Wrestling's social and digital platforms. I mean, we weren't even necessarily expecting to see a match out of Josh Alexander tonight. We knew he was in the building. Oh but got permission to issue this open challenge from Impact Management, thinking, ooh, oh. he would get an early shot at Bully Ray. Instead, it was Speedball Mike Bailey, and this, I mean, a, a, a pleasant surprise to be sure, but definitely unexpected. I'm being told we are going to stay with this matchup during the commercial breaks and bring you this extended coverage on Impact Wrestling social and digital media Whoa. platforms. There's a cover for the title and a kick out. As I mentioned uh, moments ago, the title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. It must change hands via pinfall or submission in the ring. Well, these two have worked their way oh. back into the ring. And this one could end at any moment here. We know how good Mike Bailey is especially when he can get an advantage working on that arm that we, like we said, had been worked on back at overdrive just a few oh. weeks ago. Now Frankie Kazarian was targeting that shoulder to set up for his patented submission, the chicken wing, and now it's Mike Bailey trying to capitalize on the damage from three weeks ago and targets the left shoulder. And there's that striking ability as well coming out of speedball. Now Bailey trying to get the champion back up to his feet here. Chances sweep out in Louisville. Snap suplex there by Bailey. Now into the cover. Shoulders down here and a kick out at two. And a really small thing there. The way Mike Bailey put both hands pressing onto that left shoulder, making it even hard to put that, that bruised up, that worked on shoulder, Josh Alexander, forcing him to kick out with that one. Alexander diving for the ankle. Oh, now knees right to the ribs. Alexander trying to control Bailey, and the Impact World Champion kicks out. This time the knees pressing into the chest and shoulder speed ball here in firm control of the walking weapon. Now Bailey, not his usual 
ambush, that pedal to the metal sort of speed that we see from him taking his time here. It's he, he knows the opponent he's in there with. He knows that's not gonna work. This isn't an X Division match, if you will. Even though we know Josh Alexander's history in the X Division, this is a different situation. Got her to win the title kick out by Alexander. Not only that, it is the Impact World Championship on the line. You've gotta, this is gonna be more of a chess match than anything. Pick your moves very, very carefully, especially when your opponent is the caliber of the walking weapon. Now Bailey trying to control the world champion. It's got the walking weapon down on the mat right now. It's got to utilize this valuable time. Now look at this fighting up from underneath and a kick to the leg there. Perhaps Alexander Ooh. trying to use the same strategy as the late legend Antonio Inoki there. Now gets back up to his feet, knee to the ribs. Strike wherever you can, but right now, dropping the hips there is Josh Alexander not letting Speedball get the leverage he needed for that slam. Looking for the suplex here, but look at the power of Alexander. And just stalling their blood, rushing to the head of Speedball. Good recovery here from Josh Alexander. Stalling suplex here by Josh Alexander, taking some life into his legs here as all the blood is rushing to the head of Mike Bailey. This Impact World title match will continue on Access TV. And we are back here at Impact Wrestling on Access TV. The Impact World title is on the line. Speedball Mike Bailey against the champion Ooh. Josh Alexander. Knees to the midsection to win the title and a kick out by Alexander. And this one is delivering on every level, Tom. I mean, I mean, during the break, Josh Alexander had speedball Mike Bailey up in a vertical suplex for 30, 40 seconds. I mean, these guys are putting in the effort and leaving nothing at the door. Yeah, considering the gravity of this matchup, Executive Vice President Scott Demore pulling out all the stops to cover this Impact World Championship match. Down goes Bailey. Alexander desperately needed that opening, Ray Walt, here, because through the break, it was all Bailey. Absolutely, Bailey in firm control. But then it was Josh Alexander who came out of that with that beautiful vertical stalling suplex, and now the walking weapon back in control. You see, dropping the knee pad there giving a little extra uh, damage to the back, to the spine of Mike Bailey. Ah. Ah. Mike Bailey tied up here, center of the ring. The new year is coming quickly, and Access TV has you covered with an all-day New Year's concert extravaganza. Tune in on New Year's Eve to watch all of our best concerts, including Def Leppard, Kid Rock, Kiss, and Motley Crue. It all begins New Year's Eve at noon Eastern here on Access TV. Mike Bailey here managing to get up to his feet. Ooh. Oh! And Josh Alexander seemingly just Instead of targeting one body part like Bailey was earlier, is not targeting every body part. Stretching the arms and shoulders, the spine oh. of Mike Bailey, now the knees, the legs, breaking him apart from every single ah. angle. Well, that's the thing about Mike Bailey. You and I have called plenty of his matchups. Even if you take away one body part, and my mind goes back to his matchup with Trey Miguel surrounding the X Division Championship. Even if you take away one leg, he's very adept at fighting off of one leg, fighting with one arm even. He, Bailey can do so much. That's right, he's a threat. He, you know, hey, no pun intended here. Actually, yes, it was. Oh! Bailey's a walking weapon in and of himself. Backbreaker to retain the title and a kick out, a bridge out there by Bailey. All the martial arts background of Bailey allowing him to be a weapon with any single digit joint, any part of his body. But we also know the ferocity, the tenacity of the walking weapon and seeing it in full display here. And remember how this began. Initially, it was Josh Alexander issuing an open challenge for his Impact World Championship, hoping 
aiming to have Bully Ray take the challenge. And Alexander even said here in the impact zone, Bully Ray can have his title shot here tonight. There's nothing to lose. He would still get his call your shot opportunity at the hard to kill pay-per-view. I mean, I, I couldn't believe that. Surely, when I saw Josh Alexander, when I heard him calling out Bully Ray, I figured he would ask for that shot to be here tonight. I can't believe that Bully Ray passed up a golden oh. opportunity like that. Single leg drop kick there by Mike Bailey. Instead, it was Speedball who accepted the open challenge. Bully Ray passing on this is going to take his title shot, his call your shot opportunity when he has called for it. That will be on Friday the 13th of January, the fourth annual Hard to Kill pay-per-view. Live as well on Fight TV. And Saturday, January 14th, will be all the fallout from Hard to Kill. Tickets are on sale now for both those events in Atlanta, Georgia at ImpactWrestling.com. And Tom, I don't want to get ahead of myself and over-speculate here as Speedball looks to take off. Oh! Cover! Do we have a new world champion in a kick out? But I suppose, in theory, should Speedball Mike Bailey walk out of this matchup as world champion, I, I, I would assume Bully Ray would face Mike Bailey at Hard to Kill. I, I think you would be right, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right. This matchup, yeah, absolutely. This matchup still has to take place. Bailey versus Alexander for the Impact World title. Oh, went for a big kick to the head. That could have been catastrophic. Whoa. And now a German suplex. And we're brought right back to what Kazarian withstood from Alexander in overdrive. Uh, and Bailey, he remembers that as well, holding onto the ropes here. Whoa, uh -oh. oh my God. Oh. The intensity of Alexander, cover to retain, and a kick out trapping the arms off the German. Mike Bailey, nothing to protect himself there. All shoulders, head, neck, and still able to kick out and stay in this world title matchup. Josh Alexander is so emotional, so intense. The tenacity is pouring out of the Impact World Champion tonight. There's a little extra aggression from him, Raywall, considering how Bully Ray's in his head. Very, very much. And, and luckily for Josh Alexander, he's been able to, to focus that on Speedball Mike Bailey, not get too distracted in this uh -oh. contest. Uh-oh. Go for the C4 spike, maybe. Whoa. Bailey. Bailey will be able to find a way out. Oh, the ankle lock. Great turnaround from Josh Alexander and looking immediately to go to another German suplex. Ooh, the damage left shoulder of Alexander. Oh! Great turnaround from Speedball there. Oh. Again, targeting that shoulder, that arm. That makes the ankle lock and C4 oh. spike a lot harder, but Alexander ever defiant. Just to the side of the face, up on the shoulders. And again, Bailey goes out to the left shoulder. It's Absolutely. almost a version of the octopus, Ray Walt. But bringing Josh Alexander all the way down to the ground here. Now doubled over, harder to breathe as well, in addition to the pain on the arm. Ooh. Oh! The neck of Bailey rammed into the top turnbuckle. Alexander still can't get Speedball off his back, no. off his shoulder. Bailey, look at it, oh. cranking down on the arm and the elbow, trying to take that weapon away from the walking weapon. Uh, imagine if the lingering injury from the overdrive matchup against Kazarian ultimately cost Josh Alexander his Impact World title in an open challenge oh. match. Just fully exasperated. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, the reverse Rana. Devastating to that previously surgically repaired neck of Josh Alexander. Cover, cover to win the title. Oh. Kick out. The Impact World Championship is on the line. Alexander's defense against Bailey continues. Our coverage continues of what has already been a fantastic match between Mike Bailey and Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship and Ray Walt were moments removed from that poison run of Bailey moments ago. And you know, it was earlier I was talking about Josh Alexander breaking part, excuse me, breaking down every part of Mike Bailey, arms, legs, back, whatever. But now it is Bailey who was laser focused on that arm, now turning his attention to the neck, the weakened neck of Josh Alexander. This, this is just a knockdown, drag out fight.
between two championship level competitors. Forearm smashes there by Bailey to Alexander against the ropes. A champion down and a great opportunity once again for Speedball. And look at Speedball here. Oh, wanting to look Josh Alexander in the eye almost as he takes the fight to the champ. Ooh. Oh, and, and, and you could see Alexander try to block there with his left arm, but in the process, the contact went into that damaged left shoulder. Either, either way that went, that was good for Mike Bailey. Either you, you, you smack the guy in the face or you hit that injured arm. That was pure instinct from Josh Alexander, clearly. Look at Bailey, just stalking Alexander. And, and we find ourselves, again, in a familiar situation, just like earlier on in this matchup. Oh, Josh Alexander fighting from the ground, trying to fend off Mike Bailey. You can hear the, the gasping from Josh Alexander, those knees right to the ribs. There are moments ago, and now look at Bailey isolating the left arm and a knee to the elbow. And I mean, ooh, oh. you have to wonder, oh, oh! Wait a minute, wait a minute! And look at this, the way Josh Alexander trying to tie up the leg of Mike oh. Bailey with his own legs, avoiding the use of his left arm there, which is in agony right now. Alexander was trying to wriggle free and now it's speedball Mike Bailey. I talked about it early on in this matchup, the aggression of Alexander, obviously for emotional reasons, brought on by Bully Ray. Now speedball starting to get a little bit, a little bit nastier in this match. Hey, he knows what's on the line. And as that arm and the rest of Josh Alexander gets more and more broken down, championship gold gets closer and closer to his grasp. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tie up both arms, tie up both arms. And Josh Alexander in the center of the ring. No arms to help him crawl to the ropes. The damage done to that left shoulder already intense. Alexander has got his right arm free. Is trying to get to the ropes here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. And again, Alexander using his legs to try to counteract everything from Bailey here. Well, cover, shoulders down. Bailey's got to be careful here. Managing to pivot to one shoulder. The strength of Alexander, though. Ooh. Oh, oh, my God! Bailey looked like he had Alexander in a triangle there. And the pure, raw strength of Alexander, he just dragged Bailey to the corner and then dragged Bailey's face across the bottom of the turnbuckle. Yeah, almost like a version of the slingshot there into the buckle. And, and that sure as hell is one way to break a hold. Shots Ooh. right to the neck once again here by Alexander. And you can you can start to see some of the exhaustion setting in for both competitors here. They Alexander, have, yeah, he's trying to pop his left Ooh. shoulder back into place, I think. They have absolutely destroyed each other so far. This match was heading back to Access TV. And we are back here on Impact Wrestling on Access TV. This Ooh. war continues for the Impact World Championship. An open challenge answered not by Bully Ray, but by Speedball Mike Bailey. And you can see the wear and tear on the face of Josh Alexander. Yeah. The champion has had a fight on his hands. Uh, you see the nose. I mean, you know, it doesn't look too bad right now, but obviously he's been impacted. A little bit of blood trickling out of the nose of the champion. And you oh. see the pain radiating off the left arm of Josh Alexander. I well, was trying to set up for the C4 spike there, Ray Walt, but couldn't exactly get Bailey up due to the damage that Bailey has, has caused in his left shoulder. And you had, that's exactly what Mike Bailey was aiming to do as he worked on that shoulder, as he worked on that arm. Eliminate the C4 spike. Eliminate the ankle lock. Right, goes back to the left arm, and now look at Bailey go. Kick right to the ribs, and I think make contact with the arm again as well. Off the ropes. Oh, cut out of midair with a forearm shiver. 
And that was with the right arm, the good arm of Josh Alexander. Use what she got left during the break. We also saw Josh Alexander. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Once again, went for the C4 spot. Gets turned around by Bailey. Bailey. Shoulders down. Oh, now Alexander recover. Bailey able to kick out. Speedball with a big kick. Big rally here from Speedball. Oh, manages to land on his feet. Huge. Went for the knees. Oh, and instead a barefoot kick right to the face. Oh! Got those all educated the rotation feet. there. Oh, you got this. Could be looking for that ultimate weapon. Can he get it? No! Oh, Alexander able to duck out of the way. Uh-oh, I caught. Oh, oh what a God. backbreaker! And now can he hit it? Can he hit it? Oh, uh, that's the C4 spike, but again, the damaged left arm. Enough has been done that it prevented prevented Alexander from hitting it, but I think Bailey's hurt. I mean, at this point in this matchup, both men are undoubtedly hurt. They are absolutely just melting down with pain, but this is what makes, this is what tests the metal of pro wrestlers. This is what professional wrestling is all about, and these are two of the best in the middle of the ring right now, fighting through every inch of pain in their bodies. Bailey reaching out there to his right hand. Now once again going for the C4 spike, but Bailey has had an answer oh every God. single time. Alexander and Bailey to the outside. What a crash. Watch this one more time. Again went for the C4 spike. Bailey doing enough with his body weight oh. to make it difficult for Alexander and the two tumble to the floor. I mean, how many times now has Alexander attempted to go for that C4 spike only to have it either counter or hit that arm just give out. He's gonna have to find some life or find an alternative method to put this match away. Count of five from the official, both men have to the count of 10 to get back into the ring. Title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. Bailey ducks inside. Alexander amongst the ropes, that breaks up the 10 count. And let's not forget the significance of this match Ooh. for Mike Bailey. He said last week he still has his eyes on gold here in Impact after losing the X Division Championship. He's clearly laser focused. Oh. He has been on his absolute A game in this matchup so far, taking it to the world champion. And I mean, we gotta take a look at this one more time. The moonsault all the way to the outside, leveling the walking weapon. Absolute beautiful athleticism from the challenger. And now Bailey is going back to the turnbuckles. A man who debuted at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view earlier this year, was unable to compete in the United States for Ooh. five long years, finally getting his chance here in the States in Impact Wrestling. He, in fact, signed his contract that was offered by Scott Demore on the back of Josh Alexander at an event where the two had a fantastic match. For it to come full circle like this, this is what bailey has been driving at for years. And I mean, it's hard oh. to argue two wrestlers who have had a better 2022 than Speedball Mike Bailey and Josh Alexander. So how appropriate at the, towards the end of this year, oh. we see this incredible contest between two of the best Impact Wrestling has. What a scene here at Old Forcers Paris Town Hall in Louisville, Kentucky. Josh Alexander defending his Impact World Championship and an open challenge that was answered not by Bully Ray, but instead by speedball Mike Bailey. And what a matchup it has been. I mean, Josh Alexander took some time away, obviously, to deal with the, the emotional trauma, but also the physical ramifications of overdrive, but now uh -oh. feeling even more as, oh! oh! The ankle lock here by Alexander on Bailey! Managing to fight through the pain in his arm to lock in the ankle lock. Oh! Uh, utilizing the headgear there to control Alexander for a moment, but shut down by the standard of Impact Wrestling. I mean, at this point in the matchup, again, take any advantage you can get. And you can already see how much these two are willing to put into this matchup. Some of the frustration, some of the pain all over the face of Josh Alexander as he defends his title 
against Mike Bailey tonight here on Impact Wrestling. Well, I mean, we, we know the gas tank of the Impact World Champion who, who kind of made his name in the X Division. We Let us forget that incredible Iron Man match with TJP that kind of put Josh Alexander on the map. Meanwhile, Mike oh. Bailey, who I've seen all across this country and around the world compete in similar style of matchups, now getting a chance to do it on the main stage here, the main event here of Impact Wrestling. And look at Alexander Ooh. and Bailey go out of this for the Impact World Championship. Oh! Kick to the face by Bailey. Ooh. Oh my God! And Got enough of that kick, and down goes Alexander. And, and Alexander over there was revving up, looking to take the head off of Bailey, who cut him off at the pass with that kick. My God. Now look where Josh Alexander is on the apron there. Ooh. Oh, there for another pump strike. Pump kick. Now, oh my God, look at this, Alexander. The damage to the left arm. Ooh, oh, God. dumping Bailey on the hardest. Alexander fighting through the pain in his left arm to grab Bailey and slam him down, bouncing off the apron. Heavy oh. impact. The world championship is at stake. Alexander versus Bailey rolls on. The action continues here. Both Alexander and Bailey outside the ring in this Impact World title match. And there was moments ago you saw how Bailey was just driven into the apron. Alexander's left shoulder, his left arm was giving out. So Alexander got creative and just jumped Bailey on the apron. And, and Bailey now is just barely starting to stir here. It's just been almost lifeless ever since that slam on the apron. Now Alexander rolls inside the ring. That'll reset the 10 count. And you can see the champion wanting to make an example of Bailey. And wants to, wants to prove a point here. And I, I was just gonna say, oh God. I know so many other athletes and I quit. I don't care what anybody says. I wouldn't blame him. At this point in this brutal of a matchup, he easily could have rolled in and taken that count-out victory, retained his championship, looked ahead to Bully Ray. But Josh Alexander is a pure competitor, and like you said, wants to prove a point to the world and to Mike Bailey on what kind of champion he is. Look at this bevy of strikes. Alexander oh, once God. again using the apron. Right, almost like a standing brain buster right on the apron. There's a cutter. Shoulders down and a kick out. This world title match continues. And, and you saw there, Bailey's almost self-defense mechanism after that brain buster was just to try to roll away, avoid a cover. Not sure what he had left, but managing to stay in this one. Now Bailey back up to his feet now and driven down hard once again by Josh Alexander. And Tom, I, I want to point out a little really small thing here. You saw the way normally in a situation like that, Alexander might Irish whip, grab him by the arm and throw him into the ropes. He did not want to use his left arm to do so, so he merely got behind Bailey and shoved him to the ropes to do what he wanted to do. That shows the wear and tear that is absolutely just obliterating the arm of Josh Alexander at this point in the matchup. Valuable moments here for Josh Alexander to get his win back, so to speak, and now is tying up the left arm of Mike Bailey. Ooh, not on the left, but now the right arm as well. The hand, the fingers, small joint manipulation here. Oh! There was a point earlier on in the matchup where you could hear some screams of pain from Mike Bailey, in particular, who's grabbing at that right hand. Any opening that Josh oh. Alexander or Bailey can get, they're going to take it here in this Impact World title match. You know, trying to break free one finger at a time is speedball. 
and manages to wiggle free of the walking weapon. Kicks to the hamstring here. Oh. Oh, wait a oh, look at the raw power, the muscle from Josh Alexander. An absolutely explosive body slam, but then immediately you see the way Josh Alexander crumbled back down to the floor. The power of those kicks from Bailey clearly setting in. At this point in the match, everything hurts for both men. You can just feel the exhaustion, the pain radiating off of both these competitors. Now Alexander whipping Bailey across the ring. Still feeling some pain in the left shoulder. A big forearm shot there. We're heading back to Access TV as this world title match rolls on. Oh, we're back here at Impact Wrestling on Access TV. This matchup for the Impact World Championship continues, and Ray Walt, these two have been battling for well over 30 minutes at this point. And it, it, it's such a strange thing, because part of this, you can tell, you look at the pain, the agony on their faces, radiating from their bodies, but at the same time, the level at which they are competing is absolutely unreal. Oh. This deep into the matchup. Bailey in the black and gold, Alexander in the two-tone blue and red. And Bailey continues to go after the injured left shoulder of Josh Alexander. Now Bailey going to the top turnbuckle to meet Alexander. Looking for her and can run it here. No, 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 no. God. No way. Is Alexander looking? Ooh. Oh. Might have been looking for a Styles Clash off the second rope there. What? Oh! Kick to the side of the head by Bailey. Alexander in a very dangerous part of the ring. You see Alexander almost just slump over. Might have been half out on his oh, wait a minute, feet there. Wait a minute, Bailey, Bailey looked like for a second there, Ray Walt, he's trying to set up for the Flamingo Driver, which we've seen him use. That's right, we've seen him finish matches with that. That could have led him to the championship, but now Alexander, uh -oh. Oh! oh! Sending Bailey for a ride to retain the Impact World title and a shoulder oh! off, but Alexander goes to and the ankle. immediately rolling into the ankle lock right after that almost UFO-like slam. And now, fighting through the pain, the walking weapon snatching the ankle of Speedball Mike Bailey. Now Bailey, oh. Oh, one shoulders down on the champion kick out by Alexander. Bailey. Alexander rushes in, Bailey keeps him at bay. Whoa. Is it time, Ultima oh, Weapon? He got him! This is gonna be it for the championship, but look at the pain. Mike Bailey grabbing at his left knee. Watch this one more time. The kick here in the corner, set up for it. Tried to go for this earlier on in the matchup. Finally got the ultimate weapon. But the collective damage that both these men have absorbed at this point in the matchup, preventing Bailey specifically from capitalizing. He could have won the title there, potentially. And this is where Josh Alexander, we saw some of those gnarly strikes and attacks to the leg of Mike Bailey earlier on, paying dividends big time in that situation right there. Alexander's title reign continues. He's been champion for 229 days, the second longest Impact World title reign of all time. Josh Alexander putting himself in the hallway of history here in Impact Wrestling. And I mean, with this performance, both Speedball, Mike Bailey, and Josh oh. Alexander are adding their names to some of the best matchups we've ever had here in the Impact Zone. This has been incredible. Damage to the left knee here of Bailey, his plant leg. That's something to keep an eye on. That can be even more deadly than an injury to your striking leg. If you can't get any base and power behind those strikes, it can be extremely difficult down the stretch. Oh. And again, goes for this kick as Raywalt. These two have now been competing for over 35 minutes.
And you see Bailey there, I mean, clearly willing to fight through the pain to plant his leg and kick the champion. That's how much walking out of the impact zone with world championship gold means to Speedball. Oh, kick to the chest. And now Bailey with the double knees, but again, the injury to the left knee of Bailey coming into play. I mean, part of it's got to be instinct. Part of it's got to be just what he's willing to do to win the gold. Yeah. The big strike to the head. Yeah. Alexander ducking these. How many can he duck? Not enough of them. Bailey able to wait out the champ. Oh! Strike to the left arm, the damaged left arm and shoulder of Alexander. Oh my God. And look at the way the champ is reeling. Josh Alexander is really feeling the effects. I mean, both guys are, zero doubt about that. Come on. Oh. Alexander once again going for that cavalcade of strikes. Oh, look at the German suplex. The strength, the grit of the world champion just heaving speedball Mike Bailey into the air. That's two. High on the neck, high on the shoulders. And we know the pain in the arm of Josh Alexander right now as well, but he's still fighting through to level this damage onto Mike Bailey. And now look at Bailey doing anything. He was trying to reach for the ropes, but there's nowhere to go. Caught in the clutches of the walking weapon. And it's also the exhaustion of this. Ooh, using the head, just pummeling that headgear into the spine of Mike Bailey. My count is correct. I believe that that was number five in a string of German suplexes. They're barely trying to make sure they stop, and there's number six. Bailey slowly fading here, trying to fight off the walking weapon, but to no avail as this train keeps on rolling. I just cannot believe how long these two have been fighting for what began as an open challenge. Alexander wanted to defend his title tonight against Bully Ray after the events of Overdrive, but instead it was Bailey who responded. Wait, wait. Bully Ray not here tonight. I look at the classic that is played out in front of us. Oh my God. Oh, went for the knees. The damage to the knees. Oh, Alexander to the spine with a crossbody. And that's what makes Alexander the champion that he is. Saw the opening that Speedball gave him after missing that moonsault with the knees and took it. But now, both guys laid out here on the floor. The count is beginning. All right, well, the referee out here obviously checking on both competitors. First and foremost, their health and, and safety, obviously, is in foremost. And these two have been wrestling for close to 40 minutes, so you can understand the official being out here. He's trying to get the two of them in the ring, trying to get a decision, obviously, in this matchup for the Impact World Championship. Of course. But these two, the, the, the fight is just spilling oh. everywhere. Listen, Josh Alexander, he had the support of Scott Demore to be oh. out here tonight to put out the challenge that he did to Bully Ray, to put out an open challenge so you can understand the official and Impact Wrestling allowing this match to continue. The official trying to get Alexander and Bailey to get back into the ring. But, uh, but clearly, the walking weapon has other designs here at the top of the ramp. Oh my God. Look at you, there's no way. Oh my God, not, not, oh my God, going for a C4 spike up on the stage. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh my God, wait, no wait, Bailey. No way. Oh, Bailey! Bailey with the knees to the ribs. The Impact World Champion Josh Alexander is in trouble. Bailey with a damaged knee. This matchup somehow continues. We are continuing our coverage here. This match has spilled out onto the stage. The official is all over Alexander and Bailey. He has been for the last few moments trying to get them back into the ring. He had abstained from applying his normal 10 count 
because of the, the, the mounting injuries between Alexander and Bailey, these two have to get back into the ring. But how much damage has been done out here? Oh, oh God. Oh. Uh, Bailey couldn't even stand up. Both these men are trying to answer the 10 count from the official. You're just simply count trying to walk back to the ring is proving an arduous chore. Count of seven. Count of eight. Alexander trying to prevent Bailey. And both men get into the ropes and beat the 10 count. Just barely, and, and for a moment, just a moment there, maybe it oh, oh. looked like Josh Alexander to put this one away, might have taken the 10 count. That's how much this has affected the walking weapon. That's how much he's put into this. That's how much exhaustion, pain he's feeling. Uh, knowing Josh Alexander, I don't know if he was prepared to accept the 10 count. I think he was trying to slingshot his own body into the ring using the gear of Bailey because he knew his own limbs weren't gonna get him there that's, in time. That's absolutely possible. That's it's like trying to beat of... your brother in a foot race so you pull him backwards so that you can go forwards. Sure, absolutely. Do whatever you can to stay in, to hang on in a matchup that has pushed both these guys' bodies to the absolute limit so far. It's been absolutely incredible. Over 41 minutes that these two have been wrestling. And what's it gonna take after everything that's already been dropped in this matchup? What, what is it gonna be? What, well, I can only imagine what that finishing blow is gonna be at the end of all of this. Alexander just trying to calm things down, trying to slow things down after what happened on the stage moments ago. Obviously, this match has, to a degree, gotten out of control. But somehow, some way, these guys are staying in it. This is how much the Impact World Championship means to both competitors. Oh, oh. Oh, and look at this. He's grabbing at the toes Ooh. of Bailey, the exposed feet of Bailey. An issue here for Speedball. And we saw oh. earlier. Josh Alexander, the small joint manipulation on the hands, the fingers, and now, now the toes are no different. Oh my God! And a huge strike there by Alexander. Bailey there was look, looking to work on the arms some more. Josh Alexander relying on, on the strength advantage he has in this one, the power just leveling Bailey with his right, his good arm. And just look, look at the sweat dripping off of Josh Alexander. A little totem of just how long this matchup is going on, the work, the effort that both these guys have put in so far. Oh. Oh. Shots back and forth by Alexander and Bailey. Bailey not backing down. And both men back up to their feet. Where are they getting this from? And more strikes to the damaged left shoulder. A slugfest here between two incredible wrestlers. Elbow right to the jaw. Bailey Ooh. Oh, caught amongst the ropes. Leveled on the apron there, courtesy of the walking weapon. Bailey on the outside of the ropes, the Impact World Championship at stake. Alexander defending, we're heading back to Access TV for more. This matchup has been a classic, the Impact World Championship on the line. Josh Alexander defending against Speedball Mike Bailey, a matchup that is approaching nearly 45 minutes in length. And now, in the high rent district here, dangerous territory. Speedball fighting for his championship life here. Oh! Oh, the left shoulder! Bailey going after the left shoulder with a double wrist lock there. Ooh. Oh! And that's it. Headbutt straight to the face. That's the arm that Bailey's been targeting this whole time. Oh, wait a minute! Oh. 
the ankle lock, Bailey on the top rope. What a counter by Josh Alexander. Alexander with the Olympic slam. Alexander into the cover, shoulders down, and a kick out by the challenger. Now we do want to let you know that our anticipated and scheduled main event for later on tonight, Eddie Edwards versus Delirious. That match has been moved to next week due to the time of this current matchup between Josh Alexander and Mike Bailey nearing its one hour time limit. We are going to stay with this matchup until a decision is reached here on Access TV. And we do want to let you know that immediately following Impact, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling and we will show you in its entirety FTR's defense of the IWGP World Tag Team title against Great Ocon and Jeff Cobb. Alexander missing on the moonsault. My God. I mean, you talk about the hour time limit. That, that's something, especially us as wrestlers, having been in this business, we, we know about it. It's talked about in, in many promotions across the world. Rarely is it ever needed to be enforced or, or used or even addressed because the matches usually don't go this far. This is how much these guys are willing to put in. This is how much hard work, effort, dedication both wrestlers have to becoming or retaining the world championship. And think about how Josh Alexander's night began. He came here this evening trying to get Bully Ray in the ring. Oh, the Olympic slam on the top to hold on to the world title kick out by Bailey. Again, Ray, well, I have to come back to it. We didn't expect Josh Alexander to be back here in Impact Wrestling for a number of weeks after what happened at Overdrive. Last week, Bully Ray said we wouldn't see him till hard to kill. Then the news broke, Alexander would be here, live in the Impact Zone. Alexander got the blessing of Scott Demore to come out here and do what he thought was getting Bully Ray out to challenge for the Impact World Championship and an open challenge. Bully Ray not here. Bully Ray is going to get his shot with his call your shot opportunity at the hard to kill pay-per-view for the Impact World title. Instead, Speedball Mike Bailey comes out here. Is there any part of Josh Alexander that ever expected to be out here defending his title against Bailey for nearly 50 minutes? I, I can't imagine that it was on the mind of the walking weapon. He came out here with one solitary focus, laser focused on dealing with Bully Ray. But Bully Ray's loss is our gain for yes. this absolutely incredible championship matchup. And you can see Alexander trying to get Bailey upright so he can inflict more damage. This match now 48 minutes in length. I mean, not just. The, the damage to the arm and, and trying to pick up another human being, as oh, you see there yeah. from Josh Alexander, but just the exhaustion of, of, of approaching 50 minutes of in-ring action. Yeah. Alexander trying to get Bailey up. Uh, I mean, and Tom, I can tell you, I, I've wrestled 20 minutes. I, I've wrestled nearly 30 minutes in matches before. I've never approached an hour. That's that's one thing I never came across in my career. But based on what I have, oh my God, I can only imagine what these two are going through right now. And a reminder, thanks to our partners at Access TV, if needed, we'll continue with this Impact World title match past the top of the hour. Just a reminder all our viewers on Access TV, immediately following Impact Wrestling, it'll be New Japan Pro Wrestling, FTR defending the Ooh. IWGP World Tag Team titles against Great Okan and Jeff Cobb. That will be following this. Down goes Alexander. Could it be? Oh. And you just see the way Alexander indeed did get the shoulder up, but it was not with the gusto it was 40, 45 minutes ago, 50 minutes ago. As you see the frustration, the agony on Mike Bailey's face, who's wondering just what he has to do to put Josh Alexander away. And Speedball told our broadcast partner, Gia Miller, last week that I, I, I'm here to win gold in Impact Wrestling, a former X Division champion. He saw a magnificent opportunity tonight with Bully Ray not being in attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, there are 10 minutes left in the time limit. Oh, my God. Well, there, there you hear it officially. 
we, we are approaching that hour mark, that hour time limit. Whoa, 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 oh, wait, 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 wait. Alexander's trying to end it here after 50 minutes, the ankle lock. He's got it tied in, fighting through the pain in his left arm, rolling through, not trying to not let Bailey counter this. Not again. All right, look at this, repeated kicks to the side of the head. Alexander oh. holding on to the ankle, the rolling, ankle lock. Rolling through, not letting go. Bailey knows this could be the end. He's desperate to get out of this ankle lock. And now Bailey, Bailey trying to get to the bottom rope, trying to get away from Josh Alexander. Reaching, crawling. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, the pile driver to retain. Bailey will die. And once again, right back into that ankle lock. And you saw it was Bailey trying to, to press up almost into a handstand, relieve some of the, the extension of pressure on the ankle lock, but that only allowed Josh Alexander to hit that pile driver. And now here we are, right back to square one for Mike Bailey. Bailey caught in the clutches oh. of the walking weapon. Can he get to the bottom rope and break up this submission attempt? He's craw crawling, grasping, desperate for that rope. But look at Josh Alexander just leveling these kicks to the arm. And now look at this kicks to the damaged left shoulder of Alexander. Finally breaks free. Oh, and once got not stopping. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Attacking the left leg. This has withstood a ton of punishment throughout this matchup. And, and again to the ankle lock. Oh, right Quick back to it. The leg. Falls in and you hear the screams of agony from Mike Bailey locked in the center of the ring. Championship on the line. And Bailey, is he gonna tap? Is he gonna submit to the world champion? Oh, you see Josh Alexander just wrenching on that left ankle. Look at Speedball. Any little bit of life he has left, using it to crawl. Oh, is Bailey gonna tap? Is Bailey gonna tap? Alexander leaning back. Look at him just wrenching, twisting. The hand going up, going down, but not tapping the mat. Not yet for Speedball. All right, Bailey, desperately trying to get to the bottom rope. Oh. He has to. His only and escape, does. and he's there. He's there after what felt like an eternity. And now, if you're Josh Alexander, you see just how much Mike Bailey is willing to do, how much pain and agony he's willing to go through. You're back to the drawing board on what you've got to do to end this. How much does Bailey have left after that exchange? How much does Josh Alexander have left? An instant classic here for the Impact World Championship that we didn't even think we would see. Forgive me, Tom, I, I, I find it a little funny you calling it an instant classic for a matchup that's approaching an hour. The exact opposite of an instant. This thing has been an, a marathon, but a marathon of incredible action here. Whoever wins this absolutely deserves oh. everything that they will leave with here tonight. And don't forget, immediately following Impact Wrestling, it's New Japan Pro Wrestling. We will show you the entirety of FTR's IWGP Tag Team title defense against Great Khan and Jeff Cobb. And that decision could be coming sooner than we think as Alexander here climbing to the second ah. rope. Ah. Oh! Ooh. And that was a nasty fall for Bailey. He man it managed to wiggle free there, but crash right onto that leg, that injured leg that's been worked on all match long. Uh, and I look at Bailey, trying to drag himself. Jumping, hop, uh -oh. hopping up with one oh. leg there, immediately swatted down by the world champion. And, and Bailey knows he's got Alexander in a prone situation here, in a vulnerable situation on the top. 55 the minutes are gone, five minutes remain. Oh my God, five minutes left here in this Impact World title match. 
And with that announcement going over the loudspeakers here, over the microphone, you know it's just gonna turn up the intensity to both these guys. Whatever they have left in their gas tank, it's all gotta come out now. Alexander, I, I don't think he can believe his eyes. Every single time he thinks he has Bailey down, Speedball gets back up. Like a monster rising from the deep, Speedball will not stop, but neither will the walking weapon, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. And look at Bailey. Oh, my God. Face to face, oh nose 56 to nose. minutes are gone, four minutes remain. Oh my God. Bailey, oh, the oh top my God. down goes Alexander. And now, Alexander in a prone position. Look at Bailey climbing. Look at him climbing. Could he be getting towards championship gold? This could be it. He hit Ultima Weapon earlier on in the match, but couldn't capitalize. Can he do it this oh time? Oh my God, he got it. Got it. Ultima Weapon. Champion. Look at the expression on Mike Bailey's face. It's the one on mine as well. Take a look at this. He finally hits it again, the ultimate weapon. He has the walking weapon dead to right, but just in the nick of time, the wherewithal of the champion pulling through. Three minutes remain. Three minutes left in this Impact World title match. We're gonna stay with it until its conclusion here on Access TV. And again, back to the left shoulder. Trying to go back to what's been working so far. But less than 180 seconds remain in this contest. And this is desperation for Mike Bailey. He got three minutes left to make your dreams come true, to become the Impact World Champion. Yeah, it's time to hit that knockout shot. It's time to hit the finishing blow. Anything you have left, every ounce of strength, energy, fortitude. Alexander, straight shot to the face of Bailey. Oh, and a Ooh. big kick. Oh, wait a minute now, Bailey. Bailey, he went for the Flamingo driver early on in the matchup, but he couldn't hook it. Can he hit it now? He's got, no, 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 no. Oh, and a cover, shoulders down, no. Alexander now was looking for this earlier too. Got it this clash. And right and back, ankle lock. right Two back to it. This Two is the playbook all match long for nearly an hour for Josh Alexander. Will it finally get the job done in the closing seconds of this world title matchup? The Styles clash into the ankle lock. Can Bailey hang on? How much can one body take? We are finding out the answer to that question here tonight. I learned this kicks to the shoulder, oh. kicks to the damage left shoulder, trying to twist at the ankle. Alexander. And Bailey does get to the bottom rope. Alexander not letting go though. Oh. And now Bailey, Bailey doing anything he can to keep Alexander at bay, still so holding on to the ropes. Oh, oh God, my God! God. Just ripped Bailey away from the ropes and hit a pile driver. Absolutely planted. One minute Mike remains Bailey. in this match, 60 seconds. The final minute here. <laughs> Trying to get Bailey up for the C4 spike. Has struggled to do so throughout this matchup due to the injured left shoulder. And now just pummeling Speedball. Wants to make sure this one counts. Oh, no, try to 20 seconds it. remain. Oh! Seconds left in this matchup. Whoa, wait, but oh. Alexander's not done. No, he wants to make an exclamation point here. Prove a point. This has been an hour coming. 20 seconds remain. 20 seconds. Oh. Another C4 spike. Alexander the cover. Alexander retains. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match. It's still Impact World Champion, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. A match none of us ever saw coming.
the Iron Man Josh Alexander lives up to his nickname, but heads off to speedball Mike Bailey. What a performance. I mean, just take a look at some of these highlights here from this absolutely incredible oh. match. Hard to believe some of these, these sequences, these moves. Oh, it was 30, 40 minutes ago, and they fought through all of it. Numerous times we thought this one was over. We were convinced we maybe had a new champion that Josh Alexander had received. German suplexes, Ultima weapons, this incredible action never seemed to cease. I mean, this the second C4 spike. Alexander making sure he put down Bailey. Hats off to Mike Bailey and hats off to Josh Alexander who can now refocus on Bully Ray and Hard to Kill. A big thank you to all of our partners at Access TV for allowing us to enjoy this magnificent match. Right now, we send you to New Japan Pro Wrestling here on Access TV to see in its entirety FTR defending the IWGP World Tag Team titles against Great Khan and Jeff Cobb. And we are moments removed from a stellar matchup, one for the ages here at Impact Wrestling, a surefire match of the year candidate here at Impact in 2022. And you look at the face of Speedball Mike Bailey, an absolutely astounding effort this evening against the walking weapon. And you, and you see there, Josh Alexander, even though he's victorious, almost just collapsing into the corner. This matchup finishing just 20 seconds shy of 60 minutes. I mean, you, you talk about this being a match of the year, Kenneth. This could go down as one of the great matches in the history of Impact Wrestling. No doubt about it. Speedball Mike Bailey said last week that he had his eyes on gold here in Impact after losing the Exhibition Championship. He took advantage of something that Bully Ray did not, an open challenge for the Impact World title. I said it during the broadcast, Ray Wall. No part of Josh Alexander could have ever expected this to have unfolded tonight here in the Impact Zone. But well, what a match it was. Uh, well, none of us, none of us, I don't think, could have ever expected this. But as a hand is extended, a sign of respect for a battle well fought. That shows just what that championship means to not only these two men, but everybody who competes here in Impact Wrestling. A great sign of sportsmanship and respect between Bailey and Alexander. Thank you all so much for joining us across our digital platforms and Access TV. And night to remember here at Impact Wrestling.